Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit a big earthquake, a new study from NASA, and a look at something in the solar cycle we have not seen before. We also have sunspots to look at and a coronal hole stream coming, so let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. Small M-class solar flares have continued at the large active region. They are confined and not producing CMEs. We see the coronal hole on the north. NOAA is forecasting impact from its stream in two to three days with possible minor geomagnetic storm conditions. Looking at the sunspots, once again, we can say that the new incoming spots are somewhat underwhelming, but the big group near center disk is producing some flares, and while the magnetic complexity has decayed slightly over the last 24 hours, there is still the potential near the areas where opposite magnetism is in close quarters. We're still watching closely. Big earthquake struck once again. Magnitude 7.1 hit the Philippines. The good news is that it struck more than 600 kilometers deep. This has minimized surface shaking and relegates the event to a purely scientific one. Not much in the way of damage there. So we go to our first article. NASA just launched a satellite mission to study solar radio waves. They know that they are commonly produced in big eruptions, especially those that make CMEs, but exactly how it works is elusive. Hopefully not for long. And our top story today involved a major change in solar activity that has just recently begun. For as long as they have observed or been able to reconstruct historical measures, the heliospheric current sheet from our star tended to tip southward during the ending stages of the solar cycle. In solar cycle 24, the very last one, that changed. For the first time, they saw it tipping northward, which was extremely unexpected and far afield from understanding in terms of what caused it to happen. It's possible that this is a significant shift on the sun, like the coronal magnetic field structure and helium abundance changes noted in the last 20 years. If so, it could be the result of the arrival of the galactic current sheet. We'll see what happens at the end of this solar cycle. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.